I think perhaps uh, England's, England's result uh, against Wales at the Millennium was a bit disappointing. But I think now's the time to get disappointing results out of the way. Now's the time to learn some harsh lessons. Uh, there's no point being uh, the best team in the world before the World Cup. You need to be hitting form uh, during, during that competition. So I think a bit of a shock and it would be disappointing for all those players and the coaches. Uh, but I've no doubt they've got a fantastic squad there. Um, you know, they'll learn their lessons there. We'll see how they get on this week. Um, I, I think um, you know, I'm looking at it very positively for the World Cup. I think it's a really good set of young players there. Um, and it looks like an exciting tournament ahead. In my new role at, uh, at Bath Rugby, um, I'm looking to identify the talent and, and develop it. And uh, unfortunately, the, we get guys come through the system now at 18, and perhaps they're not quite ready to play Premiership rugby. Um, so we've got uh, we're organising some loan deals and getting guys out playing in the national leagues. It gives them a great opportunity. Um, and uh, certainly, guys find it tough. It's uh, they're a high, very high standard of rugby. Um, and some and real tough rugby, you know, promotion, relegation really really counts for something. So uh, guys understand that, especially the ones that are fresh out of school. So um, there's tough years ahead for them before they uh, get their chance with the Premiership. But uh, I think it's a, it's a great learning curve for them. I've been uh, invited down by uh, Scottish and Southern Energy um, as uh, one of the ambassadors um, to come down. They're obviously um, sponsoring the leagues now um, and, and also doing some great work with the, the, the uh, local clubs uh, and down here at Percy Park. Well, I think the uh, the National League structure is uh, hugely important. Um, I was lucky enough to sort of start my career with uh, Barkers Butts, uh, playing in Midlands Division One, and then next thing I was sort of playing at Coventry. Uh, and so, you know, I think it's uh, an incredibly uh, high standard of rugby. Uh, it's a tough place to be for for some of the young players, but but for me, it was a, it was a great foundation in my rugby career.